welcome to Triple N Media. I am Nick Nickam. In this presentation, I am going to introduce you to OBS uh, layout. The front, the first screen you see when you start the OBS uh, software program for video streaming and video recording. This is uh, February 2021. I am running OBS 26.1.1. 64-bit Windows version and when you start off this is what you see here we have the file edit view profile screen selection tools help we'll get into each one of these uh, briefly in the previous uh, couple of videos I talked about introduction to OBS in terms of downloading the software and installing it on your computer and doing your first video recording. You can watch that one. I also talked about how to change the screen from browser to PowerPoint on, in a se separate presentation. You can watch that one also. But here we are going to focus on a little more in depth as how to fine tune your uh, approach. And the best way to do is to watch YouTubes from other people who have already done it and that's how I learned. That's why I'm trying to update the information based on the latest version of OBS, which is 26.1.1. Anyway, when we start off here, we have scenes. The, most of these are blank, except for uh, all of these are going to be blank. So we're going to come to sources. Sources is the window where you bring in your audio your video, your webcam, and PowerPoint presentation, whatever you have, you to whatever you want to use in your programs, you bring them here. The, the way to do is, first of all, you press plus sign, and here you have all these various options, audio input, audio output, browser, display screen, and the video capture is the one that refers to your uh, webcam and then we can have window capture so we can click on each one of these items for example here i already have several different audios but if you click on it it will take you and display various audio sources available in my case i have only one that is active that is the scarlet 2 by 2 usb sound system for both input and output so it is uh, being used same thing for output then powerpoint you can bring up powerpoint and uh, do it if you want to, to this is the browser which i have and if i want to change to a different screen i simply go here and then i say add uh, window capture and uh, then i can the different options are available i can put powerpoint let's see here window capture and it captured my the meter that is being used by camtasia uh, for uh, this recording then I can switch to for example Windows EXE we have Camtasia recording studio and uh, something else we can look at uh, and so it's show, showing the same screen here in this way we can switch back and forth uh, between various windows I can if I don't want I can just uh, delete that one by pressing the delete key and answering yes okay so that's how you bring all your different uh, sources into and i hear also i show about how to do an introduction and end credit and just with a click you can open your program then record your content then you can press end credit and end the recording we'll come to the recording part in a minute this is pretty easy to do again you put a plus sign here and say introduction then you can bring up an image and store it and like mine is triple n so i have this one visible when i start my program every time i didn't do it this time <laughs> we learn from our mistakes anyway so i i'm going to show you this end credit just in case i miss it okay that's that part and here you can do some audio advanced uh, you can do some audio advanced uh, setup, but uh, I'm not sure you really want to fiddle with this, especially when you're just starting. There's nothing really you want to do. What I would like to do is add some reverb uh, so that the voice sounds much 
smoother but uh, i don't see that <laughs> happening in this one and that is the window here you can also screen transactions uh, you can if you're having like several different screens coming one after the other then you can put those uh, screens here and how they change either they dissolve or they flip or they rotate all these different variations which are also available in uh, like many video editing uh, softwares uh, you can do that part this control has uh, uh, here you can start streaming you can stream to youtube facebook and that's a different video altogether and i'll do a video on how to stream to facebook all right and here's an important thing you need to know start recording once you have let's say you have your presentation ready you have all your images ready and your video you're not seeing my video here because camtasia which is recording this particular program is using that video at this time but in your case if you are just recording this for general audience and if you're live streaming it then you can have your picture here in the corner you can resize any way you want then you have all your uh, the graphics pictures and uh, gimmicks whatever you have uh, in the scenes and say hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am nick nickham in this presentation i'm going to show you the layout of uh, obs uh, video recording software we'll be right back after these messages so let's begin with the main presentation here there you go then it is showing this screen i don't need that screen I can delete it then I can pull up any of these uh, window screens then at the end I can just say thank you so much for watching this presentation and please please do subscribe to my channel and like it and give a thumbs up and tell your friends and we will see you in the next video where we're going to talk to you about uh, how to live stream to YouTube well, before I conclude I want to show you something else here you can start a virtual camera you can use a studio mode and settings and there are some settings here uh, this is an important setting this is a whole different topic by itself you can get to settings not only from here you also can get to settings from here from the file menu and i will do a, a totally different video on this one because there are certain things you want to change here for example when you're recording a video you want to change it to a d drive or a c drive, a e drive something like that because it defaults to c drive most of us don't want to use the space on c drive which is usually an ssd used mainly for computer processing so here you can talk about streaming again approach to facebook or youtube or any other streaming media then your, your outputs audio fine tuning all these things videos and of course in advance we don't need to get into that right now with that ladies and gentlemen before i conclude i again ask you to please subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time